Now she can use elbows. A oh, big body kick. That's the Taekwondo coming out. Yeah. Look at that tie clinch. Dominique with the really big body oh, kick. Oh, a nice elbow. Cancelloni's just going to give herself a little moment. Yeah, Julie's just going to see if she's going to turn this thing around right there. Switch over, pull the elbow down nice and hard. Clear it, clear it out if she can. Definitely putting that pressure on by Boy, Dominique well, Gallagher Gonzalez. Yeah, 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 Dominique is really pushing hard here. I like that. I mean, Dominique is really pushing hard here. Now, if it does go to the ground, Dominique is a little bit more experienced. This is something new for Cancelloni Toledo. Even though she's married to a Brazilian. Well, as she said, it was the, the final piece to the puzzle that she's been training for some months now. So now, we, if it goes to the ground, There's which it trip. is, we're There's gonna see if, if the hard work has paid off. Yep. Hook in the arms, full guard by Julie. Now, Dominique needs to get those arms from out, posture up, and as you say, let the bombs rain well, down. Well, that's exactly what she's trying to do here. Watch her to push the head down. If she could free up an arm, put a forearm across. All right, not not any, not very much movement right there. Kind uh, of a Don, stalemate. Yeah, Don Turnage started them back up on their feet. Great job by by Don Turnage. Wow, wow. spinning, just missed spinning hook kick, just missed. Now, that's actually an arm triangle right there. If she sucks it in, she actually has an arm triangle from the standing position. That's an arm triangle. She switched over to the bicep. If she could take her to the ground and switch over position, she might be able to choke her out. But from this position, she could still get the submission. Now she's gonna let it go. Unfortunate. She's gonna make her pay for that. Toledo wants no part of the clinch. She wants to keep the distance. Yeah, she's looking for those spin kicks. That's an ax kick right there, something you'd see in Taekwondo. Expecting that to see that from Gallagher. No, she's putting everything she can into those kicks. But the distance is, her distance is off. You know, Dominique looks a little bit confused. Okay, like, now look, there's that, what you were talking about. That was kind of that Diaz brother type of deal. Better keep those hands up. She can throw that switch kick. Or that, uh, Whoa, that kick. okay, thank God it missed. Yeah. Dominique Gallagher Gonzalez. Round two, here we go. Well, Julie is a little wild. She's a little wild on her punches, her kicks. Oh, but, she's make, she is connecting. Yeah, but she's she goes all out. We're looking for her lows. You can see her setting up her spinning back. There fist. it is. Much more aggressive on yeah. this round. Yeah, she didn't she didn't like how that other round, the first round went. Boy, really trying to connect with that spinning back fist is Julie trying to hit Dominique with that. Dominique would do well to, to try and do some of that Diaz brother punching right now that she discussed with you, you and know, close the distance. You don't want to be out here. If you watch Dominique, if you watch her face, she talks to her opponent. Now, right there, she ate a couple of punches, so she needs to respond back, not with words. Yeah, Julie, talk, Julie just talked to her first, asked her two questions with her fist. Okay, that was a slip, but we go back to that, to that arm triangle, or that arm choke. It's a standing arm triangle, basically what it is, it, it is what it started out to be. Now she's she's... She's lost it, but she's using it as a good clinch maneuver. Be interesting to see if she can break this and start striking from there. Don Turner's keeping a close eye to make sure both these ladies are working. Good knees by Dominique. Nice, dirty, dirty boxing on the inside. Oh, I'll tell you what right now, man, both these fighters have Great cage curl. Back to the ground. Here we go. There we go. Dominique with a nice trip. Julie on her back. We'll see who, we'll see who wins the game here. Now Trapping she's got, that leg so she she's can't get that half, full She's mount. in half guard. Now, look, she's going to try and trap that arm right down. If she can trap that arm and start punching, we could see some damage happen right here. And that's exactly what she's looking to do, Antonio. She let the leg go. Now she's yep. got to get it back. You're either going to have to let one go or let the other. Thank God she didn't bring that arm down and trap it and inflict damage. That, that would have been it. Don Turner's watching to make sure if they need to stand up or not, but they're working. They're working just fine. Yeah. Lot. 
just enough action to keep it going. I mean, both these ladies coming in here for That's the That's what I was talking about right there. Fast and when I, when I spoke to Dominique, I asked her, why don't you see more women use the knees while you're on the ground to the body? It's available. It's there. Yeah, and you can see here she's trying to break out a half guard, which I'm not really sure why you would want to do that when your opponent's against the cage. She's actually in a wonderful position in that half guard to work her striking. Allows her to posture up. Look how her lower back goes down, the butt comes out. She's able to get better posture and hit. And now right now she's just gonna grind her out with those elbows. Yeah. Those short little elbows, they don't look like much, but they are a pain to deal with. Yes. In a round two. In a round Ladies two. Ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for round three, the third and final round. Both women really trying to feel each other out. I mean, there's so no far, There's no filling out, man. These. From the, going, moment, the first round, they went all out. Well, round they're, they're two. A little more so. A little bit more control. A little round more. three, what is it going to bring? I know. We'll see. Julie came out real hot and heavy in the second round. And Dominique, Dominique's pretty much kept her game the whole time. Yeah, she hasn't. She hasn't. It's been strike. Oh, there's that Diaz brother. Ooh, man, nice, nice leg kick. This is where it's going to happen. Great circling out. Cancelloni. Definitely coming oh, in. Oh, big, oh man, big elbow. There's that elbow. Both both women exchanging elbows there. Dominique hit Julie with a really big elbow. You know, you can definitely see right here, Cancelloni wants to trade gloves. She wants to trade leather. You know, Dominique, she wants to pepper you up and take you to the ground and just grind you out. Just a nice little welt on the back of uh, Dominique's leg there. I'm telling you, those leg kicks from one or another, it's going to take its toll at some point. But right now, it's all about trading, trading leather. Oh, nice knee. Both both ladies very, I mean, I mean oh, big Ooh. elbow by Dominique. Set that up real well. And, and it's not often you see, this looks like almost like a tie fight. They're clinched in the middle of the cage. Now we have them both right here, right up next to us. You know, Julie needs to get that hand on the hip, try to get some distance and try to pivot out. She can pivot out right now. She can just get her hand on that hip. And Dominique doing really well. Has an underhook. There she goes right there, and that's what we're talking about, pivoting out. Well, again, use it, use them, using, using those underhooks to turn to turn your opponent one way or the other on the cage. So there important. There it is. And yeah. each lady has one underhook. Julie bleeding a little bit from the nose. Dominique will take her over to the other side of the cage. Continue to work from this position. Throwing some nasty knees, having a lot of success. Both ladies have matched each other in aggression, I believe, Antonio. But Dominique seems to have landed the better of the shots and has also had ground position and takedowns like this. Okay, now we're back to the ground here. You know, of course, Dominique has been going for that 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 half guard, that side mount. Yeah, but she's in full mount right now. Just got her got her hooks in, trying to trying to. Well, this ought to be interesting. Now there you go, down right to the head. There you go. Now she knows she can't posture up and drop an el and drop a hand or a fist on her, so she's going to go ahead and go for the elbows. There, and now, there, now she's up. Fist. And this is where it becomes real interesting. She's going to lay on her, going to lay on Julie a little bit. Again, it's about control and posture up. That's a beautiful move. Now, right there. Move. Now, that's, that's what we should, that, we should use it right in a keto. We should use it in a keto. That's right. And this is a Valet Tudo style move right here. Total perfect MMA control. That's it. Controlling the hand, striking to that face, helps her opponent up. That's that's classy move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought bouts or rounds, they scored it 29-28, 30-27, 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Dominique Crazy Legs Gallagher Gonzalez.